Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the Garden School. Today, we are going to discuss a poem. Name of the poem is Friendly Fauna, written by Robin Mugmog Klein. Before moving to the poem, let me introduce the poet. Robin Mugmog Klein was born in the year 1936 in Kempsey, New South Wales in Australia, now residing in Melbourne. She was well known as the author of children books. She received South Australian Festival Award for Literature in 1998 for her work, The List Maker. Some of her other notable works are Penny Pollard's book, Think Books, Halfway Across the Galaxy and Turn Left, and Hating Alison Ashley, to name few. Today, we are going to read one of her work, The Friendly Fauna. Before reading it out, we can do the warm-up exercise. Do you think, is it right to keep the animals in the zoos? Definitely you have difference of opinion. Mark your opinion. You can send either a voice clip or in writing through Microsoft Teams. Moving to the chapter, let us read the poem. The poem is about the fauna in Australia. What is a fauna? Fauna is animals in a particular region. Do you heard about flora and fauna? Flora means all the trees and plants in a particular region and fauna is the animals. Let's read the poem. Welcome to Australia. You must come and meet our cuddly native animals. Timorous and sweet, this vast and wondrous country where creatures rare abound. Oops, did it bite you, that black snake on the ground? I really should have warned you to take care how you tread. For twined around your other foot, I see a copperhead. What pretty colored berries are nature, great provider. Sorry, my mistake, do not eat that red back spider. Yes, of course, you may paddle, you may certainly go in. But I wouldn't get too pally with that sinister black fin. You have changed your mind. You would rather have a safe and gentle stroll among these sparkling rock pools. Get your hand out of that hole. Phew, a blue-ringed octopus was lurking by that rock. And by the way, a funnel web is crawling up your sock. What you want to leave already? when there is a bushland still to see with charming little animals as shy as they can be. There is one now, but watch it. Oh dear, I should have said, Tessie devils can turn nasty. If you pat them on the head, it's shame you have lost your fingers. Yes, I guess you do feel weak, but I still haven't shown you the bunny up in the creek. Dear students, this is a poem about the variety of animals found in Australia. The poet has given a unique and beautiful description about the animals which can easily frighten anyone. Some such animals described in the poem are the black snake, the red-backed spider, blue-ringed octopus and some carnivorous animals. The writer also talked about a mythical monster. Dear students, we can move to the explanation part. Welcome to Australia. You must come and meet our cuddly native animals, timorous and sweet. So the poet is welcoming us to Australia and he is asking us to be there and meet the animals there, the sweet animals. And uh, he is telling us our cuddly native animals. Here cuddly means we feel like holding them tightly and pampering them and uh, they are timorous and sweet and they will get easily frightened. Moving to the next one, this vast and wondrous country where creatures are rare abound. Poet saying that the country is really big and beautiful where we can see a large number of animals. Moving to the next answer, oops, did it bite you, that black snake on the ground? I really should have warned you to take care how you tread. For twined around your other foot, I see a copperhead. So here the poet is going to tell us about the poisonous creatures 
in the land of Australia. Here he is saying, oops, did it bite you, that black snake on the ground, where we can see the black snake on the ground. I really should have warned you to take care how you tread. Here the poet is giving us a warning, we should be really careful while we are walking. We may encounter with poisonous snakes on the way. So be careful. For twined around your other foot, I see a copperhead. Copperhead is a poisonous big snake in Australia. So while we are moving, we should be really careful. Otherwise, the snake may wind on our foot. Moving to the next answer, the poet is going to tell us about the red back spider. What pretty colored berries are nature great provider. Sorry, my mistake, do not eat that red back spider. So we may misunderstand red back spider as berries. So there also we should be really careful. Ah, nature, great provider. Here the poet marvels the mother earth for her wonderful creatures. Moving to the next line. Yes, of course, you may paddle. You may certainly go in. But I wouldn't get too pally with that sinister black fin. The author says you might want to paddle. Means to move through the water in a boat using paddle. And you may feel to jump into the water. Don't be that friendly with the sinister black fin. So it's a black fin is a fish and it is also dangerous. It will be harmful. Sinister means harmful or evil. The poet is asking, you have changed your mind to jump into the water. Moving to the next answer. You would rather have a safe and gentle stroll among these sparkling rock pools. The in English, there will be different walking styles. Stroll is a leisurely walking style. She is asking us to have a safe and gentle stroll while we are walking through the rock pool. What is a rock pool? It is a shallow pool of sea water formed in the rocky area near the seashore. And these rocky pools are above the sea level only when low tides. In the high tides, it will be covered with water. Next line, get your hand out of the hole. Phew, a blue ringed octopus was lurking by that rock. So the poet is again warning us about the blue ringed octopus. We can found this blue ringed octopus in the tide pools and coral reefs of Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean. They are highly venomous, that means poisonous. And you can see variable ring patterns in their body. And by the way, a funnel web is crawling up your sock. Funnel web is a type of spider. They live under the rocks and in and under the logs. She says that it is climbing on your socks. Moving to the next answer. What you want to leave already when there is a bushland still to see? With charming little animals as shy as they can be. There is one now. But watch it. Here the poet is asking us whether we are planning to move from Australia after hearing about all these poisonous animals. She is continuing that there is bushland nearby with charming little animals. What is a bushland? Bushland is a heavily forested land area but lightly settled land where human does agricultural activities without disturbing the flora and fauna. There is one near to us and warns us by saying, watch it. The poet is going to tell us about an animal near to us. Oh dear, I should have said, Tessie devils can turn nasty. If you pat them on the head, it's shame you have lost your fingers. Here, he is warning us about Tessie devil. And if you are going to pat them on the head, if you are going to pampering them, you may lose your finger. Tessie devil is the one the poet warned us about. Tessie devil is a mammal which carries their babies in their pouches. It is normally found in Tasmania, so it is also called as Tasmanian devil. The poet says not to pat on their heads, they may turn nasty and harmful. She says, 
it is said that you have lost your fingers. So, the poet is saying that while you are approaching Tessy Devil, you will be really careful. Moving to the next line, yes, I guess you do feel weak. So, the poet is saying that you already lost your finger, you may feel weak. But I still haven't shown you the bunny up in the creek. I know you are weak, then also I want to show the bunny up, the monster in the creek. Here, the bunny up means a mythical amphibious monster. Creek means an arm or inlet of the sea at the lower end of the river. So, hope you all enjoyed the wonderful poem by Robin McMoclean, the friendly fauna. Read the poem a couple of times. We will meet you in the next class with the exercise part. Till then, goodbye.